this is Star Destroyer Gaming, back with some more Steel Division 2. We've just concluded our vacation down on the Vistula River, and uh, now we're going to be moving up to the little bit colder uh, Finnish front line. So, let's go ahead and get that started. I'm very excited for this, try out this DLC here. So, let's move on down from the Vistula to Corellia. Ten days in it. well, I don't have to read it for you because... The announcer does a fine job of that. I'm anticipating a lot of, a lot of infantry combat here, especially on my part uh, as the Finns, because, you know, on the Vistula, I was just absolutely spoiled. Five Panzer divisions, you know, so many armored assets. And here, I'm sure that most of my tanks will be leftover Soviet ones from like 1939, 1940. So, won't be having any strong tank pushes, but we'll still see. Soviets have a pretty long front line here, so maybe we can start cutting in here and start knocking knocking out their base here, cut off their reinforcement routes. We'll have to, we'll just see. I'll probably have to castle my armor. Uh, this is my armor here, I guess, by the... If they're using their NATO symbols, this is the armor. I'll move the sucker down and start cutting into here. But um, we'll just see how it goes. Let's start this sucker up. Very good. Hard, of course. Let's launch her. Yeah, I've seen the Finnish uh, units, you know, dinking around in multiplayer lobbies, but never bothered to use it myself, because I would like to see it all, you know, in person. Go ahead and hammer it out. And here we go. We should have the cutscene coming up in just a few moments. quite a long loading time here. Maybe we'll have a very, very large map. I do imagine it will probably be, I mean, this Chilla map was quite, quite large, so we'll see if this finished map can stack up. If this is a whole, like, Karelian Isthmus area, um, there's sure to be a lot of fighting. I'm not sure if the Soviets will be coming in from two fronts or not. Um, we'll just have to see, or if they're kind of coming from one direction from the south, or if they're going to come in from, let me think about this, from, from the west. Um, the east, that is. We'll see what they're capable of. I'm expecting a lot of mechanized forces on their part. A lot of tanks and stuff, even though they will probably have the older units. Uh, here we go. Interesting intro. That color. That color, though. On June 10th, 1944, four days after the Western Allies landed in Normandy, and two weeks before the start of Operation Bagration, the Red Army's Leningrad Front went on the offensive against Finland. In only 10 days, the Red Army pushed the Finns back to the strong point of Vyborg, which fell on June 20th after hardly a fight. For the Finns, it was the lowest point of the war. Only the neglected defense line remained, behind it a direct open route to Finland's heartland. If the Red Army punched through here, the Finnish soldiers knew their homes and families would be directly threatened by the Soviet war machine. By chance, the Soviets failed to exploit their earlier successes, wasting precious days celebrating Vyborg's capture while regrouping the units for the final assault. This delay allowed the Finns to reinforce the VKT defenses, bringing in fresh troops, including German reinforcements. Oh, thank God. With the very fate of Finland at stake, the weary Finnish soldiers found a renewed resolution to stop the Red Army dead in its tracks. This is it, General. Finland's last stand. Yep, long front line here. With the fall of Vipuri, we are left with no choice but to fight and hold the line right here. I don't know if I Vilpuri they mean Vyborg or if that's another city here or here. I wonder if we're gonna have Leningrad down here recapture it. That would be that would be great. Or if the Soviets not even recapture out of just the capture. Isthmus, it will reach the roads that lead directly to the heart of our country. It would be the end. Very nice. By sheer luck, they have given us a couple days of respite. Reinforcements are already on their way. The eleventh and sixth divisions from the east. 
So I know the Soviets have a front line here too, so I don't know how smart it is to withdraw these forces, but um, we could probably do without them. I don't know if there's going to be any pressure from this side, but we'll see. And the German 122nd Infantry Division, as well as a complete ground attack air group. We know the Soviets are massing troops to break out north of Vipuri. But beware of secondary attempts across the Boxy River. Our eastern defense line lacks depth. Use the reinforcements and the armored Panzeri Divisiona to counterattack and plug any gap in the front. So right off the bat, I'm going to move this sucker down here probably, unless the pressure is just overwhelming. I'm going to move him down here so we can start counterattacking into this area here. Good luck, General. And remember that the very fate of Finland rests in your hands. All right. Yep, quite a large map. And we can't really properly survey it right now, so let's get right into the battle. I love how this can join in super heavy artillery battalion four. Let's add that and then use guys down the same. These guys have anti-tank weapons. They do not. All right, well, let's add these, the third and fourth parts of the 20th Brigade, the sucker. And we've got them coming in, the 386 coming up. Probably this guy, probably these three. We'll see though. Odd troops, let's do this. Let's see if my my lovely Finnish troops will be able to hold off the Soviets. I'm also looking forward to seeing the new Soviet troops um, at the same time. I'm not sure exactly what that's going to look like, what form that's going to take. Um, the Shrafniki might be new with this DLC. I'm not sure, though. Um, the the Shrafniki penal troops. So yeah, I'm expecting to see a lot of Soviet, you know, armor and whatnot, at least compared to mine, but their armor will probably be older in comparison because their new stuff is down uh, down at the front line and being wrecked in the Vistula right now. So and here we go. We've got artillery support, two rifle. This is the headquarters unit, I guess. Uh, so it'll be good to take out a headquarters soon. Let's start putting out our gun. Love. Well, we'll put a 45 mil here. This is very nice. Kavari, you know, I know a little bit of German, but I don't know. You know I, have, I have a basic understanding of German, but not of Finnish, I suppose. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to set them up there, have them move into these, these bunkers here. Uh, well, why would I do that? Let's just... Selva. Yeah, very nice. Pioneers. I love these guys. Useful anywhere, no matter what. Unless they come up against Apple to Machiki, I think they'll be just, Selva. just fine. Uh, yeah, that'll do me. That'll do me. Um... Defenses. New bunkers that I'm not used to here for sure. Get my Maxim out. Put a, let's put a Maxim here. Definitely a 75 mil here. This is an ideal spot. 
Let's put a gun pit down. With our little 45 mil AT guns. I think those are just right from the ripped right from the Germans, but that's okay. Maxim bunker here. Let's get some trenches down and fit some infantry in. I guess the Kavari are my standard infantry. That seems right. Now here, I want to catch the trucks as they come around the bend here in a crossfire. Let's check the range on that again. Oh yeah, plenty of range to hit the trucks there. That's a good range for them. For those AT players. Very nice recon here with those SVT 40s. But we'll probably just put these guys down here to see. Have a look see. Where else could I set up? Well, check it out. About 12 maxims. I assume it's in, it's combined with the other one too, so. We'll have about a bajillion Maxims available. Which is pretty sweet. And some like reinforced tank hunting squads as well. Yeah, definitely don't be afraid to sprinkle those in liberally. Uh, here. Yeah, good spot for those. This is my commander. I guess I've, I guess I have three of those. So let's get one there. Another commander here. And then my other commander out. I do have these other three pioneers, so let's go ahead and stick. That can't hurt, right? More pioneers in the woods, that's always a good good option. And here we go, I've got there they are. All those machine guns available. So let's put them to use. Make sure they're shooting up the place. You know, that's their job. Let's let them do it. Defense wise, I want to put up a trench here. And put up. Oh, let's see. Here we go. We got a leader. Let's stick them in with these guys. Pioneer type unit. And not to forget, we still have several more defense options. The Solithern, I don't know. I guess we'll put it there. Don't really know what to do with it. Yeah, I guess that's a good spot. Definitely gonna use these Maxims. Not very good machine guns, but they are machine guns. And then here we're gonna use our lovely tank hunter squads here to come up and snipe any trucks as they rush the hill. I'm not gonna try to defend long range wise here. That would not make any sense. So we'll put those, I'm glad those have the 1200 meter range. I believe they do. Yes, so that's better for me. Uh huh. Good, good. Yeah, these are ideal here, especially. And then we'll have Kavari stuck in there as well to really give it that oomph, that extra firepower.
Everything was looking good there. I sat in one more unit of Kavari. Yep, good. A leader, very good. How many leaders do I have left? Not a lot. No, there you go. There you go. That's a good, uh, Not Soviet. That's like the last thing these guys are. What an insult that would be, huh? And yeah, let's just stick in. Oh, look how far we can there, I guess. That seems like a good decision to me, right? You know what? I guess it. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to snipe some of those trucks. And then the solo fern here can go maybe here. Doesn't really mean much, just enough to hit a couple trucks. Maybe the same thing here to knock out trucks as they come over the top. And besides that, I've still got other guns that I have not put out yet. So maybe there's a good spot, maybe like here as well. Maybe like like here. I think that's all the trenches that I'd like to have up. Almost anyway. Ah uh, yes, I do want barbed wire here. They always, the Soviets always end up in there. Whenever they do inevitably come up, they always end up doing that. Um, looks good there, good. Yeah, let's, let's put up some trenches here, I guess. Let's start this thing. These guys are all in their trenches, good. And it looks like we're identifying our first enemy units. Come at me, bro. It's probably the first thing I'm gonna be buying here is um, artillery. Or perhaps, a, perhaps another round of troops, not sure yet. We'll see. Eight. That's a lot. Looks like most of them are coming in here, though. And here, these guys are doing their job as expected. They should be coming right to my killing ground here, right where I want them to be. Thud, thud, thud. Yep. Alright, let's pause. Think about what I want to bring up. I do want to bring up an AT gun for this gun pit that I've set up. Um, I also want to bring up a leader for these guys. And for here. Yep, I do have a gun pit in here as well. Let's go ahead and get a gun up and running there. A 
I'll try to use these guys just for their one shell and then have them back off. And these are great short range because of SVT 40s, I imagine, so. Perfect. Ah, uh, here they come, right into this ground that I've prepared for them. Come on out, fellas. We don't bite. No, just kidding. We definitely, we definitely bite really fucking hard. Oh, do they dismount? You guys. Gosh, no fun at all. No fun. Wow, they've definitely got that heavy artillery. I'm glad I put in all of these machine guns here to back these guys up. Don't know what happened to that I knocked that out, but that's nice. Looks like this thing hasn't wiped out anything yet. These guys have done nothing so far. I guess they've committed no troops there. Oh, look at these big boys. Very nice. Let's start getting them. Coming out to play. I want these guys to all engage with their rifles at the same time. Probably, obviously. Oh, we got an infantry gun versus the machine guns. They are not having a good time. This guy's hidden, but maybe they don't know that this bunker is gone or something. They really smash it, though. Oh, here we go. Now they're getting this flag. 13 minutes, all I gotta hold out for. Let's see if I can get that truck. That'd be very satisfying. As long as it doesn't miss, it'll be fine. Or maybe they dismounted then because they're coming up more slowly now. Yeah, they must have dismounted. Those bastards. These guys are going to be in batteries at three, it looks like. Fire at will. I don't want to have to micro them. It'll give me better control of my ground troops here. If I can just let them really go at it. Have them. Hunt up a little. Please pull back. They're definitely learning my strong points and starting to avoid them. How about here? Oh, yep, just max them. Just to max them. Maxim v Maxim. Holy okay, good. They can pull back, that's fine. These guys should have the advantage since they're in a building, but they're getting shelled a little too. Fire again! Alright. 
guys in Indy. Time for you guys to get all the way back. Me yeah, ahead, follow me, you know. Uh, I should have made him surrender. Oh well. My ambush with these did not work at all. No, sir. All of my heavy artillery is out now. This guy's proving extremely useful out of all proportion to what I thought, how well I thought he'd do. We don't have a lot of supply trucks, so... That's all you guys are gonna get. Did I use up all my machine guns, really? What? That's so sad. I should have more here, right? These are the same kind of unit? Yeah, there we go. Let's put one here and one here. And then uh, some inf here. I really liked using these guys, or not them, rather, whoever they, wherever they were for their single round of high explosive firepower. Man, this is slowing. This guy's slowing everyone up. Good for him. guys I assuming this is concentrating on artillery there must really be wiping out something Maybe they're targeting the tr oh, no, there's artillery. I thought it might be the trucks for a moment. I really want to see this already in action, personally. Oh, there we go. There's one of the triples coming in. It's going to nail something. Wow. Yeah, that was something. That's an artillery truck there popping. Holy cow. I think, yeah, you guys got it. Guys, wow. It's all fun and games, so they start taking uh, counter battery fire, but oh well, it's fine. It is fine. These guys come with organic, like kind of heavier artillery. Move them closer so they have better accuracy. So if you fall back. Well, whatever's over there is getting annihilated now, so good for that. Good for them. Very nice. They're opening up to full effects now. Oh no! They're gonna. They're gonna die. Yep, they will now perish. That is sad. There's no way they're gonna make it, right? These guys have 80% accuracy? Yeah, they do. Run! Oh, he made it. Wow. What a, what a monster. Nope. Lost a machine gun. Ah, oh, that was here. Here they're kind of circling around on me. Here this thing is still holding out somehow. Just surrender already, it's fine. I I would I would understand Solothurn, especially because you can't do anything, it's okay. You can let go. Let's 
to get that out. And then this thing should have... Yeah, here... Oh, these guys don't have organic heavy artillery like the other ones did, do they? That is sad. Alright, well... Let's add... Some of that in. Some more support. Pretty heavy counter battery fire that was just coming in. Hopefully they can keep knocking that out. This is doing a, a very good job of keeping these guys away at the bay. set up here again. These guys are almost getting cut off by this like surrounding action they're doing. Oh, there we go. We've got artillery coming in on them. Now those, are, now those bunkers come into play. That must be here. Yep, that bunker surrendered. Understandably. Yeah, watch out, Step Fairy. A weakened effectual fire, but they're still machine guns. Let's bring up these. Uh, I guess I should have two of them. Or just one, that is. Well, I don't want to use them from here, this unit, but. Anyway, interesting. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need some more machine guns for here. Five should do it. And I'll also put up some Kavari for good measure. These guys are going to die, it looks like. I don't know if there's anything I can do to save them. Yeah, it, it perished. These guys, these guys haven't even used up their uh, frag HE. I guess no one's infiltrating through the woods here. Oh, this is their first pusher that they've never even uh, moved in, it looks like, from that direction. Well, all right. Lord of the Dunaway. They can just unload. That's close enough. Oh shoot. Oh wow. Goodbye to you guys. There they are. That is so sad. Oh well. Yeah, they got that 900 feet still going. I don't want them capturing more flags, though, after this. Oh, that didn't take them long to knock that vehicle out. I really don't 
like how these guys are getting cut off by that attack. Let's move those up. Get some mortars in play here. Those heavier mortars all in one group. Let's see what else can I add. don't need any reinforcements I think so we'll keep them there um, I guess it couldn't hurt to have those extra trucks as long as they're directing the fire here and not at the men that's fine it's perfect, actually, for my purposes. Oh, they, they the one firing smoke. I guess the Soviets are firing smoke there for some reason. Oh, there goes my 45 mil IT gun. out to help. No, this is fine. spotter can't hurt so let's put one there and one uh, here add more Kavari here and then maybe just some guys to start clearing out this forest for fun. What's this? Oh, there. I was like, what's the infantry guy shooting at? I was like, oh. Oh, jeez. These guys are about to get hammered. <laughs> they just came in a range of all the infantry rifles and these guys. And that's coming in now. That should do it, folks. Good lord. The mortars and the artillery. Both. That's lovely to see. Oh, I lost these guys for that. attack in a big way. That's for sure. Uh, taking 
fire again there. Garbage. Safe to say this attack was broken up by artillery. Good for them. Wow, a lot of craters. We've got just 12 minutes now to wait. I've got 45 points available. I'm not using them. Looks like these guys are taking some fire now as well. trucks, the ammo trucks, especially when they'd really be needed quite a lot. Look at me, I totally forgot to even use this, this artillery here.
that guy. Oh, this is where that Telon Jiha guy was like knocked out. Great 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 I should be paying attention to see what I'm losing to counter battery as well and what I'm not. Well, this guy's empty, so you can go home, bud. Alright, well, my PTRD ambush there didn't have too much of an effect, but that's alright. This ambush is doing what it's supposed to do. Holy cow, that's a lot of guys. Where's my machine gun units? Did I use them all up? No, I, or I must have, I guess. Yeah, I did. Heavy artillery. Let's have these not fire. Let's bring those back and have them not shoot anymore. Because they're getting too vulnerable. We supply these fellas instead. I don't know what you're doing, man, but you need to go back. now maybe we'll send some infantry in here to root them out or just overwhelm them Oh, 
now I'm the one with the minor defeat, even though I took back some flags. Uh, it was here that I lost it out, though. This looks good. This is pretty low. So let's reinvigorate this with new units. Let's push it back. Definitely not long after all my artillery ran out of ammo. fire with the shells you have left. Six minute defeat. Considering just like sending in an infantry charge to decide things, kind of route them at the end now. Get that flag back as well. 
amazing to see that. Very nice. You guys can probably go back now. We're still knocking things out here and there down there. These guys shooting off their last rounds. Don't know why this guy is on foot, but okay. That's fine. <laughs> Oh no! Oh yeesh, that did a lot of damage. Two minutes, okay. Can I keep the status quo the way it is for two minutes? No, not my precious giant artillery guns. They're so nice. everything out that you can. Every time I use a Lunin, I feel like I failed a little. Oh no. Please don't die here. Please. I beg you. Did I use it my last? Look at this, I had a mortar this entire time. Oh, these are still pretty large squads though. Surprise. You will not pass. Wow, close. I even saw it switch there at the very end for a split second. 60 to 218, that seems right. Okay, these, these things did do a little more work than I thought they did. It's good to see how many things actually knocked out, including these 122 mils, which I don't think I've seen before. Yes, very nice, very nice guys. Excellent job, y'all. No, let's not save the replay. 
even though it was fun. I'm anticipating maybe two, three more attacks um, along with the entire sector of the front before the turn will be over, and that's is when I'll cut the video for y'all. But we're going to have a couple, a little bit more fighting going on before then, that's for sure. All right, or you know what? Actually, I think we will cut it here for just for tonight so I can improve the quality on that loading time. I probably have some random stuff running in the background that you guys don't need to know about. Uh, <laughs> but let's look at the losses. I'm really not liking how it's not actually letting you know how many soldiers died, but ouch, I lost five. That sucks. Uh, that's a lot. That's about... That's a little more than half my strength. Uh, but of course they suffered worse. Seven, one to two mils, so worth it. Knocking out those heavier artillery units. This must have been the headquarters, right? The 178th Rifle Division, so. Ah, oh, we didn't disorganize them. That blows. And we've got an attack coming in here. I'm probably going to use some of my air assets. Let's take a look, actually. Fire regiment. See, now this... Blenheims, the British bombers, DBFs. That almost sounds American to me. I don't know why, but this is Soviet weaponry, so I guess that's a, a DBS is so DB is a Soviet bomber. Blenheim, the old British bombers. Mark one, and Mark four, Dorniers. Very excited to use these. This will be fun. I like the Dorniers a lot, and then or Blenheim. But this is a fighter regiment, so that's confu I don't understand that. Not even one bit. Fighter Regiment 3. These are actual fighters, I guess. These are the biplanes here. Don't know what these are. Biplanes. Older American fighters. Plus some nice German aircraft, it looks like. Do we have some Soviet ones here, too? Nope. Just. And then Gauntlet. I think that's a biplane. I think that's a biplane because it's very good agility, very bad resilience. Makes me think that. I don't know what this is. Breda. British. I don't know. Really bizarre. I can't wait to use a, this fighter regiment, really a bomber regiment, and then just recon biplanes. I don't know what this thing is. I see. Interesting. Well, I am going to cut the video here for you guys. When we come back, we'll go ahead and do the rest of this front line. And then end the turn big map looks really really interesting but I'd like to see it when I can see all the units properly viewed um, so they have our numbers about two to two to one but we have a good ratio in artillery uh, tanks not so much 
surprised we have this many tanks, but a lot of that's probably in AT guns. Almost all of it, actually, so. Uh, and what are the casualties now? One sixty to twelve forty one. As usual, that's both one percent. Yoink, that's scary. But uh, that's no problem. We're gonna cut it here, guys. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.